Hello everyone, this is Arafelin playing Adventure Creator. Last time we did a randomly generated beginner quest, so this time let's just jump right into Advanced. So Advanced has a number of differences from beginner. For, for one thing, it can create dark rooms where you cannot see the walls until you use a torch. Uh, for another, I believe you start with less energy. I think starting in a trap like that was just bad luck. Now you can get fast creatures like this one, so they move faster than your adventurer can. They're not necessarily any more or less dangerous, it depends on what they do. So this time our quest, rather than to get a total amount of wealth, is to find a specific item. Uh, here we have a dark room. As you can't see the walls until using a torch. And once the torch wears off, you can't see the walls again. You can kind of remember the layout. Uh, typically a room with a bunch of stuff in the middle like this, if randomly generated, will have no other walls. So, you just go to the middle here. Of course, the thing that you can't tell is there might be doors. Yeah, those are hot bumpers, not regular bumpers. Uh, regular bumpers get in your way, hot bumpers will not get in your way, but will hurt you. I'm just kind of fill around the edge, see if there's another exit. Yeah, one of those things with the game, this game is you can't slide along walls. <laughs> if you touch one, yeah, if you get caught on one, you can't move uh, sideways. There is another door. Let's switch to ferrets and see what this does before touching it. Okay, give. Ah, that was quick. Yeah, the thing with quests where you're looking for a specific item is that they can be over very quickly if you happen to stumble across that item. Uh, the wealth faith quest, the wealth based quest. It takes a while to get enough wealth because you need to get enough treasures. Simple enough. But yeah, our quest is over. We found the peacock feather. And that was, like I said, pretty quick. You know, come to think of it, I don't believe I've ever demonstrated nippers, which I talked about, but I don't think I actually showed them. So here we are next to a fairly obvious trap. I have nippers selected. Just press the direction, press the joystick button. You shoot them. The trap is eliminated until you leave the room and come back. So that's how nippers work. Uh, in any case, I showed a successful run on the beginner's difficulty. I've showed a successful run on the advanced difficulty. I have not yet shown what happens if you're not successful, which of course is also a possibility, especially if you're used to fresh energy and you get caught in a trap as soon as you walk into a room like this. And it's not terribly dramatic, it's just you get this kind of buh, 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 buh noise and the quest is over because you have no energy. That is your only game over condition other than winning, of course. This isn't like uh, La Moana or anything like that where you have death traps around every corner. It's just if you run out of energy, you lose. If you make your goal, you win. Now, once you have done that, the game remains in memory. So if I go over here to the edit, it asks for a new password. I will just press enter because I don't want to set a password. So here we have, still loaded in memory, the game I just played that was randomly generated is now here in the editor to look at. I can jump between the different rooms, see what all the layout is. If I go to the room I was just in and change the color, you can see that's the actual layout there. And yeah, I'll be going more into the editor next time. But for now, this has been Arif Ellen playing Adventure Creator on a randomly generated advanced map. And I hope to see you next time for the editor episode.